Bruno had a fascination with God. Yes, he was well learned. He taught at the university in Reims. He was part of the papal court, but he sought solitude. He sought prayer. And if we go into the Gospels and see how Jesus prayed, very often he was alone. He was spending the night in prayer, in solitude. And that's what Bruno yearned for. So at a certain point, he found a place in the wilderness in Spain, Chartreuse, and he and six followers began a different kind of monasticism, that each one would live a solitary life, but they would come together for worship, for prayer, for mass. On occasion, they would come together for a communal meal. But generally, there would be total silence, complete silence, to enter in that sacred silence to encounter God. Now, Bruno lived a thousand years ago, and he found that the city and the church was too noisy for him. He needed that complete silence. Today, our lives are much noisier with cell phones and internet and television and you name it. People yearn for silence, for that opportunity to encounter God. So we call the religious group that he founded the Carthusians, which are much more strict than the Trappist. Yes, the Trappist have silence in their day, but it's much more communal. In North America, there is only one monastery for the Carthusians who follow the way of St. Bruno. It's in Vermont. They do not accept visitors. And it's called the Monastery of the Holy Transfiguration. And they see that going into silence and mortification and poverty each monk is transformed. There is a transformation, a transfiguration of their spiritual life. They keep a daily fast. On Fridays, only bread and water. Never meet. So it's a very penitential life, a life focused on God and God alone completely shut off from the world. They know what's going on. They pray for us. They do indeed know about floods and famines and wars, and they do pray for us. And so what a unique, wonderful vocation they have to follow St. Bruno into sacred silence and to pray for us that we too be transfigured, that we too be transformed in our ways of prayer together at Mass and in our own private lives.